Another reason that pack rats and clutter bugs procrastinate is because of burnout. And the burnout is very, very real. This comes from a lot of people working to serve other people. And most of the people that I've seen that are in the clutter space, these could be clutter bugs, they could be hoarders. This, these are people that have just given, 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 given to everyone else. They reach a state of burnout and they don't have enough energy when they get home to clean their own homes and to take care of their own stuff. Because going back to what we said a little bit ago, there's no motivation, right? There's nobody there that's ringing happy bells for you. There's nobody that's like, hey, wow, look, the house looks amazing. Our families are usually oblivious to anything that we did at home. And they're not encouraging. They're not appreciative. <laughs> and so there are a lot of families and people that will say, no one appreciates what I do, right? I'm working, working. No one appreciates it. But the reality is the reason many people procrastinate is because of burnout. But I want to stop for a second and remind you that this is your life. This is your life. And if we're going through our entire lives and we're giving, 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 and we're not taking something back, and I mean taking something back as in moments of joy, then we're just frittering away our life. And even though we might be giving it away in service, if there's not something that's coming back to us that fulfills us, that nourishes us, that renews our enthusiasm and our passion for life, then we frittered away those precious moments by giving them to someone else. So I want to focus on, and this is really important, but I want to focus on instead of just burnout, I want to focus on looking at the world with new eyes. Now, what you're looking at here is a horse in a really fashionable coat. And I think it's a cool coat for this horse. Every time I leave my house, I have to drive past this horse field. And the horses are out there. They're always out there. They don't go anywhere. They're always out there. And you drive by, you drive by, you drive by, and you get blind to the coolness that's every day, right? Everybody has cool stuff in their day, but we get blind to it because it's just normal. There's no excitement in it. Several years ago, I decided, and this was at the first part of my business where I was unable to afford vacations. I went for 14 years and I didn't take a vacation. <laughs> so crazy. I thought the business couldn't run without me. What I didn't realize was I could take many vacations wherever I was. So if I had a very limited amount of time and I'm only driving home, I'm coming home from a cleaning job, I'm driving home. If I got to drive past the horse field, what I want to do now is I want to stop and I want to look at the horse field with new eyes. I'm going to say, wow, look, there's grass that's growing in this little area, or maybe there's a new hay roll that's been added. Maybe the horses are wearing fancy fashion designer clothing today, right? I want to look at it with new eyes because it's the new eyes that's what happens when we go on vacation. We go to some place we've never seen. And it's like, whoa, check it out. That's so cool. And we see things that we just didn't expect. But did you know there are things that you don't normally see that you're not expecting that pop up every day? And we don't pay attention to them. We just blow by them because they're normal, like the horse in a coat. How cool is that? A horse in a coat, right? What are the other things? And this happened to me the other day. What we're looking at, and I'll make this big so you can see it. I'm out walking in my neighborhood. And as I was out walking, I saw this little, I don't know what you call this, a little tea kettle in a tree. And I thought, uh, what, what, what is the tea kettle doing in the tree? And here's an insert of it so that you can see it. And I don't know if this was an art project that someone made or if this was, I mean, it's too, it's too small to actually be a watering can of use. There are no flowers out around the tree, nothing to water with. It's too small to be a birdhouse that was made of tin. And I'm walking past, da, 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 paying no attention. All of a sudden, I was like, wait a second, mini vacation. What the heck is that little watering can doing in the tree? <laughs> I don't know. I still don't know. It's not like a, there were a lot of decorations. I mean, it was just this solitary decoration. But it was something I don't see every day. So I stopped and I took a picture of it. Why? Because I collect pictures on my phone of things I don't see every day. And it just kind of makes me go, huh, check that out. I have no earthly idea what it's doing there, but it was interesting and it caught my attention. Okay. So I want you to look at things with new eyes. Your assignment for this week on this particular segment of our procrastination series is to look at stuff with new eyes because there's a lot of stuff that we miss every single day. If you'll look at the world with new eyes, you'll discover things about your relatives, 
your parents, your children, your spouses, your pets, your home, your neighborhood, your job, your church, whatever the clubs or community groups are that you participate in. If you're on social media, they always change the layouts and the designs. And there's all kinds of stuff changing in the world around us all the time. And if we're oblivious to it, we're going to miss it, okay? But if you're in a state of burnout and you're just going, 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 I'm going to encourage you to just stop and look at, just look at the world through different eyes. Because as you see different things, it's going to trigger different ideas and different emotions for you. Even if you're doing the same old, same old, same old, same old boring stuff, what's going to happen is it's going to give you a renewed sense of life. And I want to remind you, this is your life, right? This is your life. And if you're not living it, it's going to skip you by. You're going to look back on the last 30 years and you're going to go, what happened? How did I get here? But if you have a whole portfolio, and now we can do this on our phone, whole portfolio of little weird, cool, whimsical things that popped out at us, then we're like, wait a second, I lived a life full of joy. I saw all kind of weird, crazy things that I never expected to see. And they just, they kind of found me on my journey through life, right? So when we talk about decluttering and removing the procrastination from our lives, again, it comes from within. We have to change who we are so that we're in a different position to say, well, I got this. I got this this time. Yeah, this is my life. I want to be in control. I want to make the choice to change what I'm doing. I want to make the choice to see things through different eyes. I want to make the choice to get rid of my own things in my own time when I'm ready instead of waiting till I die and then my relatives have to come and either fight over it or sort through it or whatever, right? I want us to make those decisions. 